Hello friends, so I thought I'd start something new. I thought since I didn't have any reviews or tutorials going on, I should still check in weekly. So this is gonna be kind of my weekly, what's up? What's going on? What have I been working on? What's, what's going on? So here I am, and as you can see on the desk, I've been doing a lot of C3PO printing. Um, a lot of parts, <laughs> a lot of parts that are very, you know, most of the prints that I've done in the past, you know, have very, uh, easy to, um, what's the word I'm really looking for? The supports don't have to be so incredibly creative. Now, fortunately, the newer versions of Cura do a wonderful job with tree supports. And if you've seen any of the uh, uh, YouTube shorts that I posted recently, um, <laughs> I've made really good use of them. Uh, so we have C-3PO's hands. <clears throat> Obviously, I will not be putting my hand inside this. This is gonna be part of an animatronic build. Um, this comes in very handy for, no, uh, couldn't resist. Uh, but yeah, I mean, a lot of these prints were done on the uh, machine that I have on loan right now, the uh, Lulzbot Taz Pro XT. Uh, we did uh, 3PO's head. We've done some of the bigger pieces that way too. Uh, a lot of the small ones, I've been using the Ultimaker 2 Plus. That machine, I know you're going to think it's a dinosaur from 2017, but that machine is just outstanding. And a lot of the smaller prints have been coming off from the Ultimaker. Uh, some of the other mid-sized ones I got on the desk here from CR10 S Pros or any of the CR10s I have. So yeah, it's gonna be an interesting project. No, I'm not gonna wear it. I am not looking forward to the post-processing because that is a very tedious process, but that is the current project. I'm still doing Iron Man prints as well too. So I'm trying to focus myself because some of you in my astute audience are gonna be asking me, well, where's the BB-8 you were printing years ago? Well, BB-8, as I learned, the drive system is several thousand dollars. So I kind of stopped there and said, you know, we'll circle back for this one. So that's the current project. Lots of interesting materials. I've been using a lot of Matter Hackers uh, Pro Series PLA. I've been using a lot of Ziltec. This is Ziltec right here. This is Ziltec Gold uh, here as well, too. Speaking of Ziltec and Matter Hackers and stuff like that, make sure down in the description you check out my affiliate links. There's a lot of affiliates that offer coupon code. So if you're looking for some deals, check those out. Slice Engineering, Ziltec, Matter Hackers, Wham Bam Systems, and so forth. So save yourself some money. This is not a cheap hobby. So definitely go down in the description and check those out. Okay, so I alluded to reviews that I'm working on. So unlike a lot of YouTubers, I'm kind of on my own schedule. I don't chase the algorithm. It's not a full-time job. I just don't care. I just do this for funsies. I make videos and frequently when I make videos, I'll play them back and just say, yeah, that's, that, 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 that doesn't meet my standard of the kind of videos I'd wanna watch. So that's why my videos are so sporadic. I try to make them every month or every three or two weeks, but right now work has just been so crazy busy. Uh, I've also had two of my three cats get sick. My youngest cat developed a urinary blockage. After they cleared that out, poor guy got rotor rooted. Uh, they discovered bladder stone, so, <laughs> so yeah, so that was fun. Uh, and then I have an elderly cat, a 17-year-old mama cat, and I think right after <laughs> Theodore got sick, she kind of said, hold my beer. And uh, so she developed a really bad UTI. She's having trouble walking, but I'm happy to report she's doing very well now. She's going up and down the stairs. Uh, so we're making progress and 17 years old is freaking outstanding for a cat, right? So moving on, yeah. So one of the reviews that I am working on is the Mingda Magician X2. And, you know, I get a lot of these offers from companies and such, and they're looking for reviews, obviously. And to their credit, you know, they don't try to set the stage as to here's what you're going to talk about. They just send the machine and say, give it an artist run and let me know what you think. And they've been good like that. So the one that I got showed up with some parts loose inside. So uh, I worked back and forth with them to say, hey, is this sure the one you want me to review? Because there's things rattling inside and I try not to take apart review printers uh, because obviously I'm going to report that as part of the review. Uh, but they were great. And actually it's sitting here behind me. Uh, I don't know if you can see the camera shot here, but I've got to say, and you'll see in the review in greater detail, um, this is one of the few machines for the price point that really surprised me. And outside of the problems of the, you know, the loose items inside the printer, has done a very good job. Uh, so yeah, you'll get the grand detail. Um, it's, like I said, it's the Magician X2. If you look at it on Amazon, it's uh, last I looked, it was $349. They offer an $80 coupon. That lowers the price to $269. And 
that's, <laughs> they're, they're, like I said, $269 for a 3D printer that works as well as it has for me. And like I said, I don't just put mine through, oh, I did something in vase mode. Oh, I did four or five prints. Yay, here's my review. I put my printers through hell and back. I, <laughs> I want these machines that when you purchase them, that they're going to work. They're going to be reliable. Uh, you know, it's, it's ridiculous that there are so many people that buy the cheapest machine possible and put hundreds of dollars in to make them work right. Or, I don't know, I mean, they just, I see a lot of people making excuses, you know, for the, you know, overseas printers being as bad as they are. So, anyway, that's a different rant, that's a different tangent, but what I wanted to say about that current review is that I'm on the home stretch with it, I'm doing some of the B-roll uh, video right now, and uh, I think you'll be surprised uh, at what I have to say about that one. Oh, and another thing I wanted to mention is <laughs> I revived the Patreon. Uh, I did a Patreon years ago when I didn't have very many subscribers. I think I had two patrons. <laughs> patrons, I guess you call that. And, you know, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to put that out there because I've had a number of people have said, hey, you make fun content, you know, more people, you should have more subscribers, you should have more people chipping in. Okay, well, fine. <laughs> so, so there's the Patreon. I'll put the link down to the bottom here. And if you like what I'm doing, if you enjoy me, my content, and my quirky personality, feel free to patronize me at Patreon. Next, so kudos to the folks at Lulzbot because they sent me the monster printer. It was a Taz Pro XT. Uh, actually, I have it over here. Uh, let's see if I can put on the other camera here so you can actually uh, see it. Uh, compared to the Ultimaker over there, it's a beast. Uh, it's 280 by 280, uh, I'm trying to remember, by 586. So that makes it one of the tallest printers I have. My CR10 S5s are only 500 tall. And that machine, uh, I'm, I'm still wrapping up my review thoughts on that one as well too. They sent me their BL Touch probe and it works pretty nicely. Uh, what I'm hoping for is they'll incorporate a firmware update, uh, essentially, um, it only probes, you know, three by three and with a printer, you know, uh, with, with a bed of 280 by 280, it'd be nice if it was a five by five grid. So two things that I'm working on for that is I'm hoping they'll enhance the uh, firmware so it'll have more probe points. And the other thing is right now, you know, the TAS printers are tied to the hip to their flavor, okay, of Kira. And it would be really cool if I can, like I said, with the BL Touch and some of the other things that are on this printer, um, how am I going to say this? I would love to find a way to make this work with the current releases of Kira. And I, I, I have a couple ideas. I've been talking to a few other people on that forum. And uh, so that's my hope because ideally with these big prints and things that I've been doing, I'd really like to take advantage of the newer tree supports because right now, uh, even the beta version of the Lulzbot version is at 4.13, which makes it about 12, 13 months behind the current release of Kira. So. So that's what I've been working on. Like I said, I, there's a whole bunch of prints I can show off, but I don't want to spoil the review. But in, in short, I mean, it's it's a $5,500 machine, so it certainly deserves a very in-depth review. You know, I definitely want to give you all the pros and cons. And they have some very interesting ways of doing things. Uh, and like I said, I'll get into greater detail in the review, but that's one of the fun things I've been working on. And the machine is capable of doing some really extraordinarily tall prints, like think C-3PO legs, you know, some of the other parts of 3PO, some of the Iron Man pieces I've been doing, because it's, it's, it's very tall, but it's 280 by 280. Um, I feel like they kind of missed an opportunity not making it a little bit wider uh, because, you know, for a lot of the things that I work on, like with droids and such like that, obviously the bigger the build volume, the better. But still, at 586 tall, that's, that's pretty neat. Uh, it comes with a Titan Aero with a hardened steel nozzle and it's 1.2 millimeters, so you're not going to get any grand details for that. So it depends what you're doing. For a guy like me, again, cosplay, R2-D2s, robots, stuff like that. A uh, 1.2 millimeter nozzle is not going to be my first pick. However, uh, and it's also using 2.85 millimeter filament. However, they offer what's called an M175 tool head. It uses 1.75 millimeter material. Uh, it's paired up with the uh, Bontech extruder and the slice hot end. And what, what that gives you is you can replace that nozzle, put whatever size nozzle you want on there and you, you gained a tremendous amount of flexibility. Plus you add in the BL touch, you're no longer doing the, uh, well, currently the leveling, it goes into the spacers in the corner, but with the BL touch, you've built a mesh, so you have a, in my opinion, you know, a better. So 
There's a lot of flexibility in that system. It certainly costs more. So to my friends that find $700 is too much for a 3D printer or more than they can afford, this might be out of your budget, obviously. But for those of you that are looking for, you know, you want to print these kind of volumes, you want quality hardware, and it's made in the USA even better, um, you're going to find this machine quite interesting. And I'm going to shut up now because I don't want to give too much away. But it's it's been a, it, there's definitely been a learning curve on this machine. And I'm hoping by what I'm doing, we'll, we'll give you guys some good information to make a decision on it. And I'm also going to do some follow-up videos uh, with the, the Lovesbot uh, to go into further details how to do certain things. For example, how to deal with larger nozzles. You know, you're dealing with, you know, you know 0.8, 1.0, 1.2, 1.4. I think the slice goes to 1.8. And it's definitely, if you're used to printing with just 0.4 millimeter nozzles and PLA, going into bigger nozzles and different materials can be a can be really scary. So as much as I can, I want to share what I've learned with you, the audience. Okay, so that's it. I just wanted to make this kind of the short weekly update of what I'm working on, a little show and tell, and what's uh, cooking in the background here. Um, like I said, the reviews are, are still I'm working on. None of the cats are better, and my wallet's a lot lighter. <laughs> I would definitely like to get some more videos out. Uh, so that's it. So let me know what you think in the comment section of this format. I just wanted to make something quick and easy and just say hello and, and what I'm working on. Uh, and I'm, I'm looking forward to your feedback in the comment section down below. Please be kind. And I'll also leave anything I talked about, I'll leave information in the description. So if you're interested in checking out, you know, the Mingda or, or whatever the affiliate links are for that, uh, that'll all be there as well too. So that's it for now. Do check me out on social media. I post a lot of stuff on Instagram and Twitter. I've got the uh, YouTube, obviously, uh, and there's also uh, the webpage. So there it is. I gave you all the stuff. So that's it for this time. I'm trying to remember if there's anything else I wanted to blurt out, but it's not popping into my head. So there. So remember, please print safe, and this is where nerdy is cool. <laughs>